Hello ladies and gentlemen, Jim here. Arizona citizens are now in a government database that uses facial recognition technology to track them simply for getting a driver's license. This allows federal and local law enforcement to use the perpetual lineup of suspects not accused of a crime to see if someone is wanted for a crime, Arizona Capital Times reported. Well, that's okay with me, by golly, you know, if it keeps me safe, I, I trust the government and law enforcement to know that what's best for me, so I don't mind my picture being in no database. All right, folks, I'm sorry, I digress. It's amazing how trusting so many people are. Uh, the state says that the program is to prevent identity theft and fraud. Here's how it works according to the Arizona Capital Times. After someone at the Motor Vehicle Division takes your photo, your face is scanned by a system based on a proprietary algorithm that analyzes facial features. The system compares your face against the 19 million photos in the state's driver's license database to look for similarities. If an image is similar enough, the system will flag it for further review. Now, how nice is that? The program is an effort that is a part of the nationwide initiative called the Real ID Act that was created by Congress in 2005 as a response to the September 11th terror attacks. Now, the system is to prevent identity theft. You know, this isn't what people are worried about. This system is, isn't what people are worried about, I should say. The problem is the lack of oversight in government programs that allows anyone with access to look into the database. As such, state-run facial recognition databases are dangerous and can lead down a slippery slope to allow other operations the technology wasn't intended for. And that is absolutely correct. Absolutely. Uh, don't, don't buy this, uh, this story that this is all about matching, matching up your face with potential criminals in an effort to keep the general populace safe. I believe there's something far more nefarious about this. Ever since 9-11, folks, uh, we have been on a dangerous, slippery slope. But I'll leave you a link to this. And I'd ask you, please, if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, to do so. Please give this video a thumbs up and please share it if you feel so led to. And uh, most importantly of all, ladies and gentlemen, do not be given over to the spirit of fear, but instead of the power of love and of a sound mind that comes through our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. God bless you. Fortress, a wayfarer story, is edgy, gritty, timely, end times Christian fiction with no fluff. It's about right now, America, the alternative media, the White House, domestic terrorism, hacking, powers, principalities, rulers of dark places, the deception, the distractions, the populace on edge. What happens when God is asked to leave the building? The Kindle is $1.99. Kindle Unlimited program is free if you're signed up with that. Paperback is $7.99. Get it today at the link below.